quote Amy was on yeah. the other night, and, and James will attest to this. If you've done pol politics in the, the years before us, Amy said the other night, and it just broke my heart, which is already sort of crusty. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sad because I'm not surprised at the, I don't know, it wasn't incivility, but it was just this just the ugliness. And d during the Kavanaugh thing, I'm pretty tough. He's very tough. He comes home during the Kavanaugh hearings. I'm, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm in my robe <laughs> and haven't brushed my teeth. <laughs> I'm sitting in his easy chair watching TV in his room. We have separate rooms. I have Fox on, which is no, no in his room. <laughs> and I'm seriously needle, needle pointing. And he hadn't been home for like a week. And he walks in and I stand up and I huff, huff, throw my robe on. I huff out of the room. Like he didn't even know what was going on. And like people are, it's just so, we're just so worn out yeah. by it. Yeah. So, what do you do when you're worn out by stuff like this? You just go back to first principles, and I don't know that we know how to measure that. Mm. Do you Do you feel like, I mean, I, the polls will get better later, and d depending on the waiting and all that jazz, but we don't know how to measure this, not brushing your teeth all day and staying in your robe and needle playing <laughs> in your husband's lazy boy. I, I, I'll tell you. One That's a, it's a key crosstab, by the way, <laughs> of <laughs> women in their robes, needle pointing. <laughs> I have to look at that group. 